Hello. Hello. The time is now. Time to begin. Okay. Let's just go ahead and bring up that live screen. Hello, everyone. I do speak. Oh, it has been crazy since we've come back. Oh, look at all the bits that have rejuvenated in that cup. It is so, so good. Okay, <laughs> Static is not working tonight. Awesome. Dude, that's good. I'm glad you and Ra Zombie and Wyatt are all here because, I, boy, I'm going to hopefully not be pooping myself. Static Crowbar with the... Oh, my God. Static Crowbar with the 50 cheer. Oh. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with... Oh, right. You know what would help, actually, is uh, if I was a smart person and made sure that you guys could, like, actually see the game, that would be, like... I think that would help a lot. There we go. I keep forgetting that I've been, I've been doing the same game for so long that I forgot it wasn't just going to automatically <laughs> capture itself. So let me make sure that that looks good. Dear webcam, why are you blurry? Why are you like this? Uh, do There we go. Hopefully that looks as much better for you guys as it does on my end. <laughs> you are playing as Wyatt because I am the only insane person to do this. Cheers because I saw the goal. Oh boy. Yeah, the goal is back. Uh, I brought the bar back up. I also made the bar pink. Uh, dude, Wyatt, if you ever do this in nightmare mode, I would love to check that out. So, like, let me know. I will be part of that audience. I have not played Outlast, so I am not going to do it in hard mode. because Not because I'm a wimp chicken, but because I don't want you guys to have to deal with me uh, being bad at everything. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> uh, but it, it sounds like such a delightful, sunny game. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> you are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secrets of the, at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. I love that about horror games. Like, <laughs> you are Wyatt, but I am not Wyatt. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar. Oh, boy. Oh, thank God they didn't let me drive. Oh, but I can look around. Oh, this is going to be real disorienting. Ooh, 1079. Kiss 108 if you're on the the side of the Mississippi where your radio stations start with a W. See, that makes absolutely no sense because KISS 108 should be a west of the Mississippi radio station. Screw this Miles guy. Alright, cool. So, we are now uh, Wyatt Wyatt Upshur. I'm cool with making that cannon. Oh, here we are at Mount Massive Asylum. I'm glad I have a press pass, just in case anyone's wondering what I'm doing in an old, I assume, abandoned asylum. Kiss is 1027 over there in Cali? Huh. I'm wondering if they are different radio stations, because 1079 is identified out here as Kiss 108. But, I mean, they probably are the same thing. It's uh, no doubt a cumulus station. September 17th, 2013. From a bunch of numbers at MuteMail.com to uh, wyattupshur at gmail.com. Subject, tip, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of, D uh, of NDAs, and I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. They're making money by hurting people. Uh, all right. So there's that. I like the eerie noise. Oh, no. 
Why does our camera take double A's? That's so garbage. Also, who walks around with a camera like this? I mean, it's cool and all, but... <laughs> Too many words, I don't like it. Fun fact, the first few years after this game came out, if you emailed milesupshare at gmail.com, he would email you back. I don't know if that's still true. I haven't tried it. Whoo! Ooh, my camera. It's my favorite. Well, that's good, man. I'm glad that, uh... I'm glad that... that do you use rechargeable double A's for this camera? I like your Jeep. Dude, you didn't tell me you had such a great Jeep. Which is obviously a Jeep based on... That it's a Jeep. So... <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, hello. It's very much reminding me of um, passing Pineview Forest. I like the the door that I can't seem to get through, but I can get through. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, all right. What is my... Do I have an interact button here? Okay, that's... Reload the camera button. That's my record everything button. Look at all this stuff. Okay, it is recording. Oh, oh, so what we, um, I, trust me, I went to film school. I know what we're doing here. We want to make sure that this gate is out of, uh, or that, that gate is out of our way. We got to get some sweet B-roll of the mansion. Got some shots. You got to get, like, the sunset. We got to go, like, rule of thirds, but we have that upward canter on the, uh, the camera so that everything looks super spoopy. It'll, like, zoom in up here. Spoopy. Look at that. What a window front door. The front door has been unguarded for the last 10 minutes. All right, I don't want to waste all my battery juice out here. By the way, you need to find batteries. Never waste until it dies. Okay, good to know. Uh, I'm going to have to find me some batteries. I hope everyone just, like, has double A's lying around. You know, you would think when, uh, when Wyatt Upshur goes to investigate a secret mansion that he would trust only one brand. Which, if they want to sponsor this stream, then I will say their name. But until then, they are a nameless... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Stop doing that. Uh, it's a good suggestion. <laughs> the game will beep at you but uh, to change it, but you can get at least another five minutes out of the battery before it dies manually. If you reload, it wastes a whole battery. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't want to do that then. All right, so I'm getting that there's nothing I can really do in here. It didn't seem to prompt me for an interact button, so I don't know if I even have one. But let's go take a knock-knock on the door here. So obviously there's no one there. Uh, we've got this big old, to open the door quickly, press left mouse button. To open the door slowly, hold left mouse button. Let's slowly open this door. To raise your camcorder, press right mouse. Blah, 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 blah. Press right. The right mouse. Yeah, plus press the right mouse button. Yep, that's accurate. Event recorded. Adding a note in your notebook. Press N to read it. Yeah, how about we don't? Okay, so the rule with clips, I don't want to go over like 10 to 20 seconds if I can help it. That's just because I'm going to save myself the time of editing later on. These benches are nice, but they're. That one's leaning a lot. Raw Zombie! 50 bits for the pink hair. You guys, I you know, I set the goal really low, figuring that it would give us plenty of time to get there. And boy, you y'all are making a mad dash. I'm going to have to set my goals higher from here on. I do appreciate all the bits though. Okay. So we can't uh we got like military vehicles hanging around outside of an unlocked asylum. Hello? Knock, knock. Can I come in? Wrong button. I keep doing that. Ooh, that would make a good B-roll shot right there. Just, like, zoom in on the... Uh, there we go. Get, like, a good couple of seconds of that. And then if we need to, we can always, like, splice it later. <laughs> I hate reading my writing. Hey, why 285 was here. Okay. Um, nothing I can do with that. Ah, okay. So I can't get in the door, the front door. Gonna have to find, oh, we need the uh, Mount Massive Asylum on here. It's very important that everyone knows where we were. 
Really? F2.4? That's... Alright. Very shallow depth of field we're going for. Oh, boy. At least everything out here is, like, it's sunsetting, so it's... Oh, hello. Yeah, your locked gate's not stopping miles. Morales. Crouch. Hold left control. Why would you do that to me? Oh, because left shift is run. Duh. Boy, they have, like, spooky Halloween sound effects on a cassette tape just rolling around in the background. Uh, my camera, not yours. Sorry, dude. The Wyatt cam. Can I go in this door? Negatory. Hello. All right. I uh, got a lot of lights on inside. I assume someone is home. Poopies. Can I, with the camcorder active, you can zoom in with mouse scroll up and mouse scroll down. That is very good to know. I do see me an empty old window up here with some broken glass, so that's delightful. That is as far in as I can zoom. So apparently, I'm going to have to go all the way up here. Sorry, Wyatt will have to go all the way up here. <laughs> it's the Wyatt camera, made by Wyatt Engineering. Wyatt Laboratories. So what is your goal here? Uh, apparently, I'm just here investigating Mount Massive Asylum for journalistic purposes. <gasps> I am... A, or sorry, Wyatt is a journalisty journalist. 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 We're here to find the truth. And nothing but the truth. Uh, yes. So help you, Bob. So help me, Bob. <coughs> oh, um, yep, that. Do you have a flashlight? Activate night that? vision on your camcorder. Press F when camera is raised. I feel like we don't really need it, though, because I can see the door over here. I'm not that afraid of what could possibly be lurking in the dark. Not this early on. Hello? Can I? Oh, I love it. Okay, so I've got, like, the ability to peek the corners like I'm playing some Rainbow Six. Here. Just gotta, just gotta peek them corners. Oh, I like that he had, like, the hand on the wall. That's, that's a nice touch, guys. Okay, so... That dude looks real angry. Ooh, books. Can I read any of you? Negatory. Wyatt is apparently not the reading type. Sorry to hear that. This door has been... Like, Van Damme broke in here with a grudge or something happened. Hi. Alright. I, I heard you. I'm gonna go ahead and add my second ear... Mostly onto this. Uh, it's Wyatt, not Miles. Oh boy, I missed some stuff. Gets an email from a whistleblower saying shit is fucked, and he goes, Oh, I better check it out then. Certainly shouldn't take any weapons or backup. Yeah, basically. Yeah, look at that TV. What a television. What time is it? Oh, it's a little after nine. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm gonna go ahead and open our door. Hello? Oh, we got some blood on the floor, so that's great. Move towards the gap to move through it. That works for me. Yeah, get closer to the blood. Yep. We got blood on the wall over here. Blood trailing down the floor. Off into the scary hallway. And along the wall. Just a lot of not good going on here. What is this? Hey, teamwork. Teamwork is great. Let's work like a team. Do I really need to close the door? Is that, is that like something I should be doing? Hey, a battery. Ha. Oh. Yeah, you can reload by pressing R. I'm not going to do that right now. Because why? It's not a battery waster. Okay. Um, I like that they're not giving me too many places to check. I appreciate their appreciation of my time being a valuable thing. 
Hello? Everyone was trying to make a phone call. Can I hang you up? No? Uh, what's in this document here? Jay, update your reporter's notebook. The whistleblower, which is the email we already read. Yep. And then we've got this new one. Project Wallrider, patient status report for William Hope. Markov Psychiatric Systems, Project War Wallrider. Mount Massive Company, case number 174. Patient initials, WPH, Billy. Consult consultation dated 2012-1014. Initial date of patient consult, 2009-412. Patient age 19, gender male, observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR. Therapy status, patient claims to have progressed to self-directed uh, self lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage four hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Okay, there's a lot of just like, are you gonna give me anything really? Uh, Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth, quote, in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one <coughs> Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Okay, so I feel like Dr. Traeger is going to become an important name. Whoa. I like your audio cues. They're very good. I don't like, though, that they're working. Hello? I know I came from that way. Help. I'm just a fumbling idiot trying to peek through doorways. <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> That's the really good thing about uh, Outlast. At least Outlast 1 and Whistleblower, you can really only go where they want you to, and you can only search what they want you to search. I kind of like that. And then it's an indie title. Shoe prints. Yes. Some. Oh, my shadow. Got some shoe. Oh, hello. All right. I'm going to be honest. I was not expecting that door to shut. I should have been. And I feel like it wants me to. Hello. It went that way. You should follow it. Yeah, it probably did. You should follow okay, it. Okay, hold on. Please avoid contamination. Wash your hands. Uh, let's just go ahead and note organs on tray with flat soft drink. I assume it's flat. Can I open the fridge or freezer? Negatory. And then over here, you can see we have ketchup everywhere. Or strawberry sauce. <laughs> it Did it splatter on the ceiling so hard that it's still dripping? Oh, hello. Video game logic. Yeah, I like video game or logic. Horror game logic in this game. I mean, my battery life seems to be lasting for a while. We're going to go ahead and close this. Oh, wow. I'm glad we slammed the dickens right out of it. Into the vents I go. Not yet. We have to figure out what happened with this door. Oh, okay. Someone just went ahead and shut themselves on in there. Can I go this way? Negative. Negative. I All think right. you have to follow the blood trail. I think everyone here is correct. Oh, God, why? Hashtag Wyatt, would you do that? Uh, the character model for Miles doesn't have a head because the mechanics just didn't work with the camera and angles and everything for some reason. He has an invisible head for shadow purposes. But if you were able to glitch the game and see yourself in third per... You got a lot <laughs> of oh, Outlast facts, and I'm digging them all. I apologize if I don't get to read most of them. Hello. Um, what was it, F, if I have the camera open? Yeah, F for night vision. I don't really need to go this way, but... Let's go ahead and not waste our camera battery. You know... Somebody's running. Somebody's running. Oh, boy. Well, so someone else is here. 
We can at least confirm that. I really like Outlast, man. <laughs> uh. Hello? But I really like how vents in video games and such are like, they're so clean on the inside. Like they look a little dirty, but I mean, ultimately there's like usually screws and stuff sticking through everything. Hi, Jamie. <gasps> Jamie, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hey, there's a library. Uh, can we go this way first? Doesn't look like it because there's stuff behind that door. I'm going to call BS because, as you notice, the hinges are on this side of the door, meaning it should swing towards me, not away from me. So being barricaded from that side wouldn't make any sense. But, you know, that's that's just me. We obviously have to get around there. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, God. I saw Bosco move you out of the corner of my eye at the Bosco. same time. Oh, oh sorry, buddy. So you should be very aware that this is one of those kind of games. And you should expect me to scream a lot. Oh, dear God, why? What has gone on here? Yeah, your gasping for air is not helping at all. See, this guy doesn't have a head either. It's there for shadow purposes, maybe. Oh, dear Lord. I hate all of it. I hate... Hello. All right, I mean, you're hanging, so you're probably fine. Uh, all I can think is like, what would Jake Paul do? I don't know if I have a punch button. Or sorry, Logan Paul. Wrong Paul brother. Hi. Oh, oh, he's still, hello. They killed us. Oh, wow, you, you are impaled. Have... The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. Ah! You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Cool. I can do that. I can go back the way I came and just leave in my Jeep. That would be wonderful. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Jamie says you guys are too jumpy. Uh, 50, 50 bits for scaring the crap out of everybody. Thank you, Jamie. And... Oh, jeez. Oh, Bosco in the corner staring at me. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I'm sorry. Bosco's cowering in the corner now. He's a scared doggo. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that is not the end of my terrors. Oh, I don't like this hallway. I'm going to guess I'm not going in there. I'm also going to guess that I don't just get to go through this really well-lit hall right here. Yep, he jumped. Yeah. Yeah, the Bosco boy became quite afraid when... Little fake. Hi. Whoa! Whoa, what are you? I guess he's the dude that killed all those people. Excuse me while I put my heart back in my chest. Who are you? And who are you? That's what I'm wondering. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Is it 867-5309? I'll take that call. I don't want whatever calling you have. Oh no. Is that the dude that just... Escape the asylum, access security control to unlock the main doors. Uh, the dude that just talked to me? I don't think mm. so. Oh boy, well, what a, a mess. mess. What an absolute mess. Proclaim the gospel. You know, adults with imaginary friends freak me out sometimes. Uh, okay, let's... We can't go... Oh, boy. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and gather all of the evidence. My God, what happened here? Sarah wants to know if you can turn subtitles on. 
Do you have the ability to turn on subtitles within the game? Let me check uh, real quick because that would actually be great. Show prompts, invert access, show subtitles. Look at that. Return to game. Thank you for bringing that up because I didn't even think about it. I'm wearing headphones, but you guys may not be. Oh no. Even the guard has been guardified. Oh, what am I doing here? What? Murkoff. Why does everyone insist on leaving the phone off the hook? You guys are monsters. Well, they and got like... killed midway of calling 911. Jeez. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Murkoff Corporation, U.S. office, the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area. Affidavits have having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the uh, issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances. Wow, there's a lot of legalese going on. Hi. Can you not audio cue me every... Is that just a lighting thing, or like, what is going on over there? Something is swinging? Or someone is on a gazelle? Tony Little style. Okay, there's a desk on the other side there. So we needed to access security. Did you just zoom in on his naughty bits? Uh... Boy, oh boy. Oh, okay. This dude is just slumped on over. Okay, so, spoiler alert. I don't know how to hide. I don't even know how to Jekyll. <laughs> also, spoiler alert. Always be prepared for me to scream like a bitch because it's going to happen. Oh, no. Probably a lot. What we got here? Just a computer. Listen, if you're going to keep hyperventilating, I'm going to make you wait outside. I'm going to go put ourselves in the light here before I read that paper. Uh, all right, a whole bunch of stuff. Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity, platitude at roughly 2,000 ppm unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Spirit, uh, spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in the restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Is that the dude that picked us up and threw us out the window? Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with uh, with Tatara lizards and their uh, perennial eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraint is highly recommended. <sighs> oh, that's the dude that picked up Wyatt and threw y'all out the window. <laughs> broke your favorite window so far. I'm sorry, man. God, I really wish you wouldn't make the noise every single time I read a document. That's real unnerving. It's real upsetting. That's a puddle of garbage. 
All right, I've already been over here. There's nothing to do over here. Hello? It's a peak hold Q or E. Hi. Who are you? You're moving. So, like, that's good, I guess. Or not. No one in there. And that exit seems to be locked up. So, like... Obviously, we gotta go this way. I think, um... Wyatt, your best bet is just to yell at this guy and be like, Hey, how are you? How's it going? Hello? I'd like to get this on camera, if you don't mind. You don't mind, do you? Hey, how's it going? No? Alright. Well, enjoy yourself. Oh, hey, guys. That's, um quite the show you're watching. I think I've seen Snow Day once or twice. I heard a scribbling. Who is scribbling? I hear someone like... Oh. Is this made in the same engine they made Fallout in? Just curious. Because, boy, they sure do look like some Bethesda characters. Hi. You've got a face only a mother could love. You have a love only a mother could face. <laughs> you guys don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, work my way around here to the back of the room. Uh, duck my way under some 2x4s, maybe. Peek first. Peeking is important. There's nothing over that way, so like, really, I don't need to peek too far. Ooh. All right, that's just an exit. Hi. How are you? You working on a painting? Is it a pretty picture? Oh, is that a crowbar with the 10 bits? You have a lovely, a love only a mother could face. Because I'm sure when even you realize how deeply disturbing that sentence was. Yes. Yes, I do. Hey, how's it going? If you're going to do anything freaky, could you do it for me, like, on camera? That would be the best. Of course you won't. I have to pick it up and have you grab my arm. I'm going to go ahead and call that right here. No? Oh. Wasn't expecting that. Or rather, I was, and then you didn't do it. So, like, that makes me almost more nervous. Gotta peek around the corners. Make sure I'm not gonna get my head taken off by a dude. Alright, so I have a security card. Hey, guys. Yep, there are only three of you here still. So that's, um, that's good. You guys don't mind me, like, walking in front of the television, right? Okay. Ugh, I'm like unnerved. I don't want to slowly open any doors, but at the same time, I really shouldn't be quickly opening any doors. Ah, uh, this guy's still here. Mmm. Mmm. Super convenient that they were issued blinking badges. I know, right? Hey. Oh! Get them out! Please! I'm sorry, Bosco. does. He needs something. Oh, look at him crawl. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm... See, but the problem is I'm from a generation that only knows how to film things. I don't actually know how to help. Oh, wow. He's... Yeah, he's really hurting. Don't worry, dude. I'm not here to hurt you. I am merely here to take your toilet paper. <laughs> Sir, you scared me. You die now. He... Yes. He has collapsed quite a good. See, I have no idea if this game is going to be one of these, like, it spaces out my scares. Or if it's going to be, like, certain points are just going to, okay, how about we scare you a couple dozen times in a row.
See, my favorite thing about peeking right now is that he stops breathing. God. I need eyes on every side of me is what I need. Guard station. Obviously, you know, bada bing, bada boom, end game right here. I got the card. I can leave the facilities. Because everything in life is just that simple. You step on a body? I don't listen. Don't judge me. Three bolt locks there. What is down this way? Oh, a bathroom. The bathroom scoops. Ah, the spook poops. Somebody took a nightmare dump in here. All right. I know the battery is beeping at us. But I'm really about just juicing those batteries for everything they've got. Take the battery. Wait, was there a battery in the bathroom that I missed? Or are we talking change the battery? Because frankly, I'm going to let the battery beep until it desperately, like, forces me to change it. No, you can look behind you by holding Q or E while running. I don't like that you just told me that. Not one flippin' bit. Because that makes me go, why would I want to look behind me while I'm running? Bye, static. Oh, static's going AFK for a bit? Okay, my dude. Missed it in the bathroom in the blood? Oh, let me, uh... Let me go back and check it out. Because if there are extra batteries, gosh darn, do I need me some extra batteries. Oh! Well, would you looky there? Thanks, my dude. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Dear game, why do you know exactly how to freak me out? All right, you guys, should we go downstairs or down the hallway? What's down there? Uh, the electric room. I obviously need to go to the security room to let myself out. But, I mean, <laughs> good luck, son. All right, so we can't go that way. And here I am asking as though it makes a darn difference. I am so apprehensive to even walk through that door right now because it just told me how to look behind me while I'm running. Hi. Oh, boy. Look at all these things. Look at all the stuff in this room. Look at all the people that were once here and are not here anymore. Look at the, the ceiling light that's... Hi. How are you? It was a bad day for you, wasn't it? You too. Under the desk seeking that promotion, I see. Hey, a battery. <laughs> Wrong button. Jeez, I'm pro. Ah, crap. I keep wanting to hit the wrong button. Like, the button that is the reload, I want to hit it as... Whoa. I had a moment there for a second. I thought I was playing prop hunt. <sighs> Ooh, boy. No, but I keep thinking that I like the action button is on the keyboard, and it's not. I just need to click on stuff. Why is this door closed? I don't recall closing that door. I don't think you do. That might have been what you would slam. Hello? Someone in there? Hello? Hello? It sure does look like someone had not a good time. 
Ooh. Yep, that's gonna take more than a plunger to get out. Hi. Hey, witness. I have witnessed. Oh boy. I am already feeling uneasy. Hey, the security room. Which I can now get into. There's one dead guy. There's one guy that walked down the hall there. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut that. I'm hoping they need a card to get in here. Oh, oh. they lie. Well, now you know how to reload batteries. Oh, that guy closed the door for you. How nice of him. That, That's me after I eat Taco Bell. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Oh, hey, a keyboard that I can apparently... I like that it flashes. It must be a Razer product. What do we have in the computer system? Tap on the keys a bunch. It makes it do stuff. Hi. What are you doing? Um. Restart the generator in the basement. Can we not? Hide in the locker. Try not to fight. Oh, boy. Oh, no. He's coming for me. now. Nobody home. Away he goes. Nope, come. Should I... I'm not sure if I should run or continue hiding. Because so the generator is fucked up. We're just gonna run straight on down there, fix a generator. Everything's good with the world. I'm just gonna close that. It's probably already here. Listen, how about we don't talk that way? Oh, Alright, we got a bed. Got some documents, which I will definitely read from the safety and solitude of a locker at some point. Sarah says the music is your key. The music is what? The cue to leave when you are hiding. Oh, okay. Who's there? Is there somebody here? Hello? Hello? Recklessly charge into danger, that's what I always say. Turn on two gas pumps in the main breaker. Oh dear god, I hate this so much. Oh, that's not one of them. Are you a gas pump? And I'm guessing not, because you're not uh, flashing at me. Is it through this door? Hey, the pump room. That might be the room.
Look at this button flash. I suppose there's not another one in here, is there? Oh no. Is there anywhere to hide in here? I'm gonna go ahead with no. I hope this guy doesn't have night vision. Oh boy. Because when he appears, that very tuba e tuba e music plays. Or whatever instrument it is, because I have no idea. Let's just take this time to uh, read some stuff. Wednesday, 10th of February, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Oh, I think under the bed, although I can't believe that worked. I mean, that's, you know, kudos to them and their, uh, their lighting because like, Realistically, it should work. If I'm in the dark, he shouldn't be able to see me, especially if I'm not silhouetting. But uh, I was assuming that was not going to be the case, and I was about to die. So, like, kudos to you, game. A uh, a post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you, uh, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in, many, in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for an entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expresses absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Whew. Wow, wouldn't you know, changing the battery just really... Makes it so I can say ah, shit! No, 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 no. Would you like your picture taken? Because, uh, I really don't know what to tell you, except maybe don't chase him would be like the ideal thing. Oh, God! Oh, he's hit me over the head. He's hammering my butt! Alright, would you. Please. Oh boy, I am seeing shit. Just another ghost. Yeah, it's just another ghost. Go back to sleep. See, like, he can't see me in the darkness. I can't see him in the darkness. <sighs> wow. Excuse me while I check to make sure I still have a pulse. Actually, I feel like I should hook up a heart monitor to this thing. That'd be really cool. So you could actually, like, see my heart rate increase. Now, where did he go? Is he on, like, a patrol? Like, that's what I'm wondering. So I, I, like, walked out the door and ran directly into him. Where's he going? Where's he going? 
Hi. You, uh... Don't need to worry about me, none. Oh, come on. He seems incredibly confident for a guy who can't see. In the dark, I mean. Yeah. So if we go by the assumption that, like, he can only see about as much as I can see. Hello. Oh, Hello? Oh, you're in here. Hi. Can, uh, can we not, though? Like, let's, uh, I'm just gonna run. And if you could not run, that would be really cool for me. Which, of course, you're fine now, right? Oh, God, why did I duck? Wait! Go! Back into the crazy room. Excuse me while I run about and do some obstacle work here. We're just gonna run in here. We're gonna hide over in the corner. Where he cannot obviously see us. Oh shit! Okay, never mind, he can see me. And I can't get through anywhere! Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dying here. Can I at least push the button? I oh no, my chocolate! He made me drool my chocolate! Excuse me while I regain composure. Hmm. You know, slowly. So how are you guys doing? How's <laughs> how's everyone else? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh raw zombie with the one bit for dying. I apparently can take a or sorry, Wyatt can apparently take a pretty good hit here. Our little our our exploring boy. Yeah, that goes back upstairs. I don't need to go up there. What I need is to come down here. Do I still? Yes, okay, I still have my batteries. So, fun game that I think we're gonna get to play here. Who's there? Alright, so we can, like, crouch and walk around just fine. So... Oh, boy. I feel like it's important to note that my cat just came into the room and tried to boot my PS4 controller, so now I'm crying because she's cute. Nice. Right, where is this dude? I'm oh, shit! Can you not answer my question by being there? Ah, come on, come on. He can't see me if I duck in the hiding part. In the hiding part! You can't see me! Fuck, dude, I was in the safe zone. You can't do that. You just can't... My chocolate! Man... So close, too. Alright, so that's what we're gonna need to do is do one, get to the other. I don't know if I should do them in reverse order.
Like, I'm less afraid of this guy knowing that he is the only one there. So, like, that's good, I guess. Who's there? No one. Don't worry about it. Infallible logic. I thought so. So I guess he does come up and check in here. Nope. Okay, listen. Shut the door. But, like, uh, while you're on the inside. Is he out there? Does he like the truth? There he is. Nothing to see in here, my dude. Come on, how? Excuse me, I have to go. It's very important. I hope you understand why I cannot possibly wait. I will be on my way now. Thank you very much. See you later. Ah! Uh, oh! 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 He, uh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't know how that works, but I'm so happy it did. Oh, everything hurts. Okay, all right. Okay. Just gonna cry ourselves to sleep a lot. Wonder why there's so much water down here. There he is. Hello. Oh, not hello. How do you see me? I was hidden like a skunk in the night. Go through the thing. Open the door. Close the friggin' door! <sighs> Fob or knock? Oh. Okay, I still only have that second one to take care of, I think. Is it really only 1101? Is that really the thing? Wow. I feel like I've been at this for much longer. Yep, we certainly... Oh, no. Yeah, you've only been doing this for an hour. I know it feels like it's been lifetimes. It does. And I'm getting that trombone music. I don't know if that means that the big dude is... Uh... Second stage. Oh, hey, wow, I could hide in the bed. Why do you think you know how to do 
that. And you know, then I can watch him come plowing through the door. Looking for me. Not finding me. tell you how excited I am <laughs> that this door is now broken down. But I have no idea where our friend is. I hear you, water walking around. There he is. Very good question, which I assume will be answered never because you won't find me, because I am sneaky. Notice my sneak. Sneaky, like a water snack. I walk on water with my water moccasins. I already did the other one! Did I not? I have already been here. I have already click clicked your button. Hi, you have a bat. I'm gonna just see myself out. Because now I don't know what I should be doing. Now I don't know where I should be going. Oh boy. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through here! Why did I decide this game was a great idea? Huh. Oh. But I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I hit both gas pumps. God, or do I have to go down that long hallway? Probably. That he it's keeps going down. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably a thing because it's a long hallway, and you know, why would I ever not have to do something horrifying? Well, I mean, I guess let's just go see what's down there, right? Was it death? Oh boy, I can't see Jack. Oh, it would help if I changed the battery out. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Hi. Hello. There he is. And, again, somehow I've managed to stippy-step my way into seclusion. If I shut this, does that make you angry? So yes, we do need the camera. My best friend's batteries. All right, where in the heck are we? Aside from, you know, in the dark. I got a couple extra batteries, so I don't have to be as concerned, but I'm still concerned. Nobody. 
Just us normal, average, everyday bed rats. Back had a baby emergency. Oh no, I hope it wasn't a terrible baby emergency. I don't know if it's like better or worse. Oh, that's a head. That, um, I'm like, I feel a little bit more calm and confident knowing that uh, I'm pretty much just going to be like outrunning this guy for a little while. That's a lot for. Boy. Okay. Hear the music. I don't want to deal with the music. I'm going to have to change the battery. Hooray! Finding me or what? I'm gonna go with no. Okay, that's a yes. That's gonna go with a big old fat yes. You found me. Good job. I would shake your hand, but I'm a little busy running right now. Can I can I open the door? I can. Can I close the door? Oh, please tell me that hiding in the darkness still works. Please tell me hiding in the darkness is still a good tactic. Yeah, silly game. You want me to hide in hiding places. I just hide in plain sight like a ninja. Can I follow you? Or do you get angry? These batteries go way too quick. Saw you. How's this game the weirdest case of the got luckies ever? I don't know. If this works again, I'm just gonna be shock shook at that it keeps working. Yeah, same though. Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to change batteries though. But I have to because there's no lights on. I, I hate this whole looking for switches thing. I 
It doesn't seem to be down that way. I've been down that way, and I didn't find Jack Diddley. Oh, shit! Excuse me, sir. I, uh... Come on, just vault over. Get vault over. Just vault over. Just vault over. Jack drop. There we go. Excuse me, sir. You will not excuse me, so... How many laps can you do before you get tired? Because, boy, I can just certainly hold this shift button for flipping ever through the frickin' wall! Are you gone? Are you out of here? Have you have you left? Oh my god. Why am I still here? It's well yes. Where is he? Like, I want to wait for him to come out here. Unless he's already out here. How many switches do you have to do? Two of them. It said two gas switches, right? So I go in these rooms, which you know, I recall being labeled like switch or something. And there's two of those rooms, right? So I push both of them. And then I come over here and it's like, nah, dude. <laughs> nah, bro. You need to push two of them there. Switches. <laughs> come on, get up. Okay, cool. Power's back on. All that means is I am really not ready for what comes next. I heard something. What did I hear? Hello? Hello? Uh, dear music. Figure out what, what you're into, like. Okay. Can I leave? I sure would like to leave. Oh, hey, uh, that was a hug from behind. I wasn't, hello. Ooh, yeah, that, I guess that wasn't I'm Botox, sorry, right? My son. I didn't want to have to do this to you, but you can't leave, not yet. Why? There is so much yet for you to witness. Is it bad that like, this is the guy I trust Will more than any of the rest it? of them? Can you, our Lord, the wall rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers? The only way out of this place is the truth. What? Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. Does that include the exit? <laughs> no. I love how he looks in the lockers, but still opens it. Dummy. Uh, oh, okay, cool. We're waking up. Hello? Yes, hello. Oh, I like the... These guys are super into the letter T. 
I like the padded room. It's nice. And I'm glad you left me my camera. I appreciate that. Why does the camera have night vision, but I also have an insane flashlight on this thing? Remember that notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. Rest in peace. Now, was it tab? Yeah, tab opens my notes. What are my notes? Because I haven't gone through any of these. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record for disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. What they thought they could get out of this place has to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. It's all about the story, really. That's the thing of it. That's like, this guy's got the heart of a true journalist. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Markov think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned in a pig, in, pinned like a pig on a spit, that tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. What up through a second story window out some scaffolding? Broken men and dead television. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Oof. The witness. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp, couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuckstart his head with a cheese grater. That is a great description. Looks like somebody tried to fuckstart his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I need to put that on a plaque somewhere. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. Oh my god. This guy is like, I love his descriptions. Old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit. This priest seems to be, like, really invested in us, too. Father Martin's cell. The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernicke, uh, Wernicke is at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. How does one execute a proper fuck start? Okay, we're gonna have a moment here, all right? How exactly does one suck a fuck? And the first person to tell me what movie that's from, um, I don't know, I'll give you like 500 points. Or 500, do I wanna do five? Yeah, you know what, screw it, 500 tokens. To the first person that can tell me what that movie is without Googling it. If you Google it, you've cheated. We're going to run the honor system here. Uh, I've already read all my documents. That's fine. Uh, the quote again was, How exactly does one suck a fuck? What is this? Benny here. Follow this. I hope you don't mind that I uh, record this. Right? Where'd he go? Get back! Get the fuck away from me! Ah! 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 Uh, dude? Don't you dare look at me! Oh. Too late, I'm looking. I swear to God this was done in the same Space. engine Bethesda used for Fallout. Leave me alone. They're in my blood if they want to get out. You...
Like, tell me I'm not the only one that sees that. Sees what? The the resemblance to this the game the way the game works. Hey, y'all got a grabby arm. It's very nice. Do you work out that grabby arm on the daily? Hi. Hey, smooth skin. How's it going? I see we've met uh, Mr. Wade Wilson. Wade Watts. Wade Wilson. Oh. This is a disaster piece. What'd you do? He shouldn't hurt you. That's what he said. When the cat's away. Delightful. Who is this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. Hey. Who's that? Yeah, they're in your blood. My God, look at all these poor folks. Sorry, did I just trip on something? Hi. Oh, you look like someone's already performed an autopsy on you. Hey. All right, not going. Hi. How are you? Oh, your mouth. I don't know if it's sewn shut or sewn open. Can you tell me? Speak you can't tell me. Space alone. Leave me alone. Your unblinking eyes are just gorgeous in the fluorescent light. Oh. Oh, can you not? I wasn't ready for that door to open. Hi, how are you? Why am I hiding? Oh, I need to catch up on the chat. Hold on, guys. Oh, 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 hold on. Who, who did? Upshur character, static crowbar. How does one execute proper fuck start? I got raw zombie with the Donnie Darko. <laughs> Jamie followed shortly thereafter with that Donnie Darko. Ra Zombie, I owe you some points. Some 500 tokens. Oh, God, why am I hiding, though? I, I really shouldn't have left my camera on for that, is the thing. Okay, let me, let me like, catch my breath for about a second here. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Static, you're back now. Great. Yay. Uh, let me find... There you are. Five hundos. Sorry, I wanted to do that while I was thinking of it. And also, I, could, I really needed that, uh, that couple seconds of not losing my mind. So thanks. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Okay, so now that we have awarded five hundos to uh, Raw Zombie for properly answering the Donnie Darko question. Uh... No Space alone. Leave me alone. Can't leave you alone. I'm sorry. There's too much stuff to film. Oh, this guy. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that tends to be most religious folk. I'm sorry to say. Uh, are you going to bother me if I try to open this door? Is that going to upset Here you some? No? Nothing? Okay, cool. I mean, I'm always hoping for nothing, but gosh, I just never know. Because, you know, sometimes they open like that. <laughs> Jamie with the 25 bits. Proxy had about five heart attacks. I sure did. <sighs> oh, Jamie's got to go get some sleep. Work at 6 a.m. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, enjoy your sleep, though. I hope your sleep is excellent and not filled with any of the nightmares I'm experiencing. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. 
Proxy had about five heart attacks during the basement part, but obviously he did really well since we're here now. Yeah, Static, if you uh, enjoy seeing me scream like a little girl, then, uh, whoop, okay. <laughs> Raw Zombie with the nine bits and Static Crowbar with 27 because 73 is a bad number of bits to be stuck at. Uh, I'm, you guys, you know, you know, I'm pretty sure we broke our 100 or 200 mark or whatever it was. Did we just cheer at the same time to cure our OCD? I think you guys might have. I think you got that same OCD going on. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, before my camera completely kaputsies on me, I'm going to go check out this little area. Look, there's nothing in there. How great. Hi. Oh, you have no hands. You just gonna sit over there? I'm real glad your door didn't open. He is real angry. This guy looks real hangry. How's it going, my dude? Didn't want that to open. Oh, would you look at that? Why? Yeah, I, yeah. Hi! Aw! Wouldn't you know, he looks just like Bart. God damn it! What the fuck is the matter with you? You weren't invited to this, you goddamn sicko! You like to watch? It's sick! You're sick! Yeah? Can you even see me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Who's that guy? Alright, I'm not going through that way, so, uh... I'm just gonna see myself out. Hey! Oh. Hey, you! Oh, I. Um. You, uh, what? Yeah, that doesn't open. Hi, you're a guard. Can I open this door behind you? No, I can't. That's the showers, it's where we freshen up. After a long day of being psychos. Yes, I have already filled my normal sized human belly with delicious human filth! Well, let's just move towards it. Okay. Alright, hey, but can we, like. Get my blood if they want to get out. Oh, alright, I have to go like this. Is someone gonna grab at my feet? I feel like y'all are gonna grab at my feet. Can we just be friends here? I know I'm a little better dressed than the rest of you, but I would like it if we could just be pals. Because really, oh, I had my camera on that whole time. I am bad at conserving battery. Where is he going? WTF, get out of my head. And now Proxy has to dye his hair pink. I do. Uh, he wanted to dye his hair pink the other way. I do, but it's always more fun. I know that sound effect and it is not coming to me. That is a, like, not the Wilhelm scream. The Wilhelm scream is a very specific scream. Hey, how's it going? Um... God always provided a way, provides a way, follow the blood. Can I not? Is that an option? Uh, no. God, I am infuriated with the audio production of this game. The sound of the skull against concrete. Yeah. It's not great. Uh, did we just cheer at the same time? Get out of my head. <laughs> Turkey legs for hands. He did have turkey legs for hands. Excuse me, I'm just gonna hang out in this demon chamber. I hope that was decontamination. Hello. What's that? 
recontamination. Yeah, it could have been recontamination is the problem. That's what I that's what concerns me. Oh, follow the blood. Down the drain. Yeah, I'm working on it, dude. Don't worry. Oh, that door is open. Hi. Can I? I'm just gonna. Go, excuse me. Conjuring. Like the movie? Bet I can hide under. Good to know. Battery for my camera. Happy to have. Heard that scream. Not happy about it. <sighs> Closing doors behind you will slow your pursuers. Good to know. Thanks. I like to think that I don't have any pursuers at the moment. But from the what you're telling me, I sure feel like I'm about to. I'm not sure if this guy patrols. I feel like I'm about to find out the hard way, though. <sighs> you would, uh, excuse me, my dude. How do we go about this? Got some lockers out there. Hey. Oh, wait. Do you not actually attack me? Is that... Is that how we're going to play this? You'll attack you later, maybe? I'd like you to stay quiet. I will. If you leave me be... He's just. I'd like you to stay quiet. Oh! Get back! <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. No, duly noted. Don't go near him. And he is fine. Go near him, and he gets angry. Oh God! I can't see anything. I want to show you something. Is this guy gonna help? Can you help me, sir? Is that a no? It sounds like a no. Close it! Close it! Get under the freaking bed! I mean, I don't think you should antagonize him, though. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this guy's clearly psychotic. And a beater stick. Let's hug him. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, my logic. Oh, my God. Everything. I'm way too tense right now. Excuse me, sir. Sir, if you, um, all right, I'll just see you later then. 
Hey, how's it going? You have not moved an inch. I like that in you. You're my favorite dude who hasn't moved at all. Ooh, what's this? Activate the airlock. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to double check for batteries, though. And also close the security door, because by God. Boom, airlock act. Follow the blood. Hi. Ow. Is that this dude? Yeah, it is this dude. Real question, is he chasing me? The answer, we may never know. He has no pants. Oh god, Raw Zombie, how do you think Proxy's gonna handle the finger scene? I don't know what you're getting at, and I don't like the sound of it at all. The last game I played with the finger scene was Heavy Rain, and that was real unsettling. <laughs> Look, everyone, a fire extinguisher. Nothing at all like a fire distinguisher. Devices you point at a fire and it goes, yep, that's a fire. A battery. Gimme. No. But now. Now. Now we indulge. Yes. His tongue and his lure. Your mine. Hi guys. I see you got some knives there. Uh I also see that this door is quite locked. Um Yeah, so the finger scene is way worse than Heavy Rain. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of it at all. Just going to jump and hang. You can strafe left or right. Is the finger scene something that's coming up? The naked twins. I looked away for a second so I could pet the cat and suddenly wieners. <laughs> Whiners. Hi, guys. Guys. Oh, boy. They didn't want to hang around and wait for me. Which is, like, mighty rude, first off. Because, like, I told them I'd be right over. Ooh, a folder. Let's have a read skis. Uh, first off, okay, it is empty. I thought there was a full coffee cup, and I was going to say that right there is straight up blasphemy. Are there any more folders I should pick up for a battery? All right, uh, let me bring up that journal. Purge gate maintenance memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corp. Maintenance Manual MMPSMM180286 or seek guidance from a supervisor with the proper security clearance. <sighs> oh, you've got some time. You won't hit the finger scene tonight. Oh, good. You might hit it on your third or fourth stream block. Okay. Great. Real excited. Love the sound of everything you just mentioned. I'm supposed to follow the blood, though. There's them showers. Anything in the garbage? No? All right, cool. Tell me this doesn't open. Okay, thank goodness. This door needs a key card. And I assume I can only get that key card down this long arse hallway. You 
do one. Oh dear. Oh, hey, look, flash and badge. Like, I want to shut doors preemptively, but also I'm a little terrified because then I might need to run back through them. I got the key card. Hi. Are these lockers I can hide in? No, they are not. New objective, exit through the showers. It's definitely some solid advice. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that door. Look at me exiting through them showers. I see some curtains flapping in the wind. This certainly will be nothing like Resident Evil. Was there a reason for that? Did I, did I need to shimmy out that window? And Apparently not. Hi, hello. Hello. Are you a battery? No. Hello. Oh, light. That's good. Light is a good sign. This door being open isn't. Nor is that noise. You know, I said I was going to conserve camera, and it's just not happening, is the thing. And I am waiting for anything to crash through this window. Have I been in here yet? I don't know, but there sure is a button here. Oh, hi! Who's a big, beefy boy? Oh, boy. It sure is you, and I sure am stuck in here. Yeah, nope. That's not a way out. Oh! Sorry to have bothered you. I'm just gonna see myself out through this. Hole in the... Nope, I'm not. Oh, God. Well... As my head explodes. Oh. Oh. So I guess airlock equals bad. It hasn't been so far. Is the thing. PS4 speedrun record is 9 minutes 16 seconds, 130 milliseconds. Xbox One 926 150, and no one has run it on the Switch yet. Okay. Apparently, the world record for a glitchless run is 52 minutes, which is still crazy, and I gotta check that out. Agreed. A glitchless 100% record for this game, 57 minutes, 1 second. I think I died about 15 times on the scene when I first played it. Took me forever to figure out how to escape. Airlocks equals bad. Never mind, I guess we won't get to turn back the clock on that one. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to give my brain and my heart a rest and go ahead and call us there for tonight.
on Monday's stream, we're going to figure out how to deal with this dude and hopefully get out of the showers. I say the showers because I know this game is not going to be that nice to me. We're not going to get out of the asylum. That is not with that, not before I figure out what this finger scene is. That is probably going to ruin me for life. Oh, <sighs> so. That being said, we we did reach our bit goal, which means all my fluffy topping will be pink for our next stream. One way or another, I must make it happen. For you have filled that bit bar so quickly. Such a good introduction to the game. Yeah, I am into it. But now that I've like seen and related it to Fallout 3, I can't unsee it. And so it's starting to feel a little bit like a Fallout mod more than a horror game. Which is, it's still freaking terrifying, but like, uh, such a good intro. I can do it if you want. Oh, what, the, the hair thing? Because I got to come up and have Corey actually cut my hair in the first place because the sides are just gotten right shaggy. And <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the good old classic days of Proxy Fox and the pink top so that uh, Jamie can be satisfied and call me pinky again and... I feel like it's just, it's so much more entertaining to look at. If you're going to have someone on camera anyway, like something exciting should be going on up there. So that's good job, guys. Good job breaking records and goals and everything else. I hope you guys uh, manage to pinch a loaf off in your pants just as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you enjoyed my screaming like a small child. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. Uh, for anyone watching this, if you're not already in the I Do Discord server, highly recommend hopping in there, checking it out. We have a looking for games thing. I know Tesla's Apprentice has been hanging around in the uh, Heroes of the Storm, and I'm probably going to check that out this weekend. So there's that. Like, so much fun when you do whatever the F you want with your hair. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight up Chloe on it. And be like, yeah, punk rock. And I'm going to start wearing, like, tank tops and being a punk. Huh? I don't own any tank tops. That's accurate. This is amazing. Enjoy your weekend. Looking forward to this weekend's twig. Dude, I am too. I missed the crap out of doing podcasts this weekend. Like, vacation was great and all. But, like, uh, just it murdered me to not be here doing recording stuff and making things. So... Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you for watching. And we will see you again next week with more proxy screams like a child. So until then, happy gaming. Bye. Hashtag what are they doing behind the bushes?